Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's, as always, a great pleasure to have my friend and colleague, Bud Hussain, the Foreign Minister of Iraq, here at the State Department in Washington. Uh, we look forward to Prime Minister Sudani's visit uh, to see President Biden in a few weeks' time, as well as the meeting of our higher coordinating uh, committee, uh, which is a critical piece of the strategic framework uh, agreement that really guides the 360-degree relationship between Iraq and the United States, um, a demonstration that our partnership uh, crosses over many issues uh, and many things that have a direct impact on the lives of Iraqis as well as Americans, everything from water to uh, energy to uh, the environment to the delivery of services. Uh, so we very much look forward to preparing for that, uh, that meeting, uh, as well as dealing with um, some of the immediate challenges uh, on our plate. But for us, Iraq is a, uh, an important critical partner, critical to the stability of the, uh, of the region, uh, and uh, one, again, in which we have not only a long-standing relationship, but one that is comprehensive in the issues that it covers. Wad, it's good to have you here today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, my friend, my colleague, Tony Blinken, it is really a pleasure to be here and to have uh, discussions about various topics, which has to do with our bilateral relationship. Uh, we, we are partners in the fight against ISIS, and we will stay partner in this fight. Continuing the fighting against terrorism is our duty, and we did a great job by defeating the so-called terrorist state of ISIS. Uh, we are also partners in building our economy and uh, working together in various fields. Uh, I am really happy to be here uh, to have discussion with uh, various officials in, in, this, in Washington, D.C. And we are going to work together uh, to continue our partnership in various fields. And uh, we are expecting our prime minister to be in town, and we will have uh, discussion about also the situation in Middle East and uh, the tension there, and we are going to work together also to uh, to have less tension in that area. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for receiving me and shake hands. <laughs> okay. As always. <laughs> Thank you. And I would Thank add you. only one thing to what Fouad said, which is I, I think it's very important that unfortunately we be reminded that ISIS remains. Uh, a real threat, uh, and uh, despite the very good work that we've done over the years in uh, dealing with that threat uh, and uh, mitigating it significantly, we were reminded by the horrific attack uh, outside of Moscow just a few days ago that ISIS remains uh, a potentially potent force and one that we have to continue to deal with. We uh, mourn the loss of uh, so many innocent lives, people going to a concert outside of Moscow. This is a very uh, unfortunate reminder that uh, we have to continue to deal with ISIS and make sure that it doesn't uh, revive and regenerate. Thank As you. we suffered from ISIS and we fought ISIS, I too, I condemn that attack. And this means that ISIS is still a threat for the peace in Middle East, but also uh, for security and peace somewhere else. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.